Once you're comfortable using the mouse to zoom, pan, and rotate, to get around in your model, you may find that the tools in the view cube and navigation bar give you more refined control, and in some cases, one-click access to particular views. First of all, in the upper right corner of the design window, you'll find the view cube. This cube lets you click on its faces to look straight on with the corresponding view of the model. You can also click the small arrows that appear next to it, as well as the arrows that face clockwise and counterclockwise to spin the model on your screen. If you click and hold down on the cube with your left mouse button, you can drag the cube freely to rotate the model. From here, you can even click on the edges of the cube, as well as the corners, to rotate to the corresponding area of the model. Notice when I hover my mouse near the cube, there's a home icon that quickly orients the model into an isometric view where you can easily see the top, front, and right views. Just below the view cube, you'll find the navigation bar. This bar has more navigation tools to help you zoom, pan, and rotate. We'll talk more about this steering wheel tool a bit later. Just below, you'll find a hand tool that you can use to pan. Just click the tool, and click again to grab the screen and pan around. Below Pan is a zoom tool, which has several options. You can use the drop-down button to zoom, which behaves similar to the Pan tool, Zoom All, Zoom Window, or Zoom Selection, which waits for you to select a face or feature to zoom all the way into. The Orbit tool is another method for rotating the model. When you select it, a target appears on the screen which serves as a center for the rotation. If I click inside the target with my left mouse button, I can rotate the model freely about the center. As I move my cursor over the different parts of the target, notice how the cursor changes slightly. If I hover over one of the horizontal lines, I can click and rotate the model from left to right and any vertical mouse motion doesn't affect the rotation. Likewise, if I click a vertical line, the rotation can only move up and down. Left and right mouse motion doesn't affect it. You can also click on the circular part of the target to spin the model clockwise or counterclockwise. Now the last tool in the navigation bar is called View Face, also known as Look At. There's a hotkey for this tool, which is the Page Up button on the keyboard. This is a good one to remember, since Look At is a tool you'll use often. To use it, just press the icon or the Page Up hotkey if you prefer, and then click the face you want to look at, and Inventor will look straight on with it. At the bottom of the navigation bar, notice you can customize which tools show up, in case there are other tools you want to add to the navigation. It also lists their hotkeys. So, for example, you could add the Zoom All command to the toolbar, or if you're like me and prefer using hotkeys, try to remember that the Home button on the keyboard performs the same function. Hotkeys will become more second nature as you use Inventor, and will definitely help you get your job done faster.